Hi, my name is Alex, and the painting that I'm going to be analyzing for you today is The Stonebreakers by Gustave Corbett, which was made in 1849. When The Stonebreakers was made by Corbett, it wasn't supposed to be a heroic painting like much of the other realism paintings of the time that um, emphasized the middle and upper class and how amazing life was. This was meant to be a painting that uh, emphasized two men breaking stones beside the road. Um, they are set against this very low hill, but then the hill is also blacked out, so there's a huge, huge amount of contrast between the hill and the actual workers. And I feel like Corbett did that to place a lot of emphasis upon the workers and honestly if you look there's really nowhere in the image where you can look and not have your eyes track back to the two workers and the workers breaking the rocks down to gravel with pickaxes is a testament in itself to how hard life was for most of the people in the time because this activity was only reserved for say prisoners on chain gangs or uh, slaves. It was never, if it wasn't done in that capacity, it was always done with a jackhammer, but these people are having to do this by hand. And also, if you notice, you can see that one of the, uh, on the right, the man working seems to be a lot older than the, I say, boy on the left. And Corbett did that on purpose. He, uh, made such a big difference in the workers ages to symbolize the cycle of uh, poverty and because I mean poverty is not something that was it's not easy to get out of now it wasn't easy to get out of then and like going back to what I said about how uh, you can see the workers from every part of the painting like you look at the the boy on the left you follow the pickaxe then you look at the older man on the right and then they just it comes back to it and this painting was extremely influential because unlike other uh realism artists like uh millet who always made these idealized uh like peasant paintings that conveyed the sense of hard work but also in a idealized sense like this painting by Corbet did not do that. It did the exact opposite. It was insanely influential. It really uh, brought light to the realism movement. But unfortunately, the painting is no longer with us. It was destroyed during World War II when uh, the Allies bombed a uh, transport vehicle that was moving the pictures from a uh, castle to another location.